Good evening, everybody. I'm meteorologist Scott Ellis. We have a fairly severe weather outbreak that is underway as we speak. So I'm going to break things down for you. We're going to see these things starting to fire up around the southeast. They're going to push in at 8 o'clock. We're starting to see them become widespread in Crook County and Deschutes County. Still some showers into Jefferson County. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm meteorologist Scott Ellis in the Central Oregon Daily Weather Center. Boy, we just got over the storm, but the good news is we haven't gotten over the storm pictures. I love seeing the storm pictures after the storm. Gary Graham sent this one in from Redmond. What we've got going on is cool air from about the Great Lakes south, then warm air around Texas and Montana, and then cool air out along the west coast. So we are cooler and damp today with a few clouds, a few showers, but things are going to be transitioning towards the east. And then by 11 o'clock, some pop-up thunderstorms could be possible down the entire 97 corridor. So all throughout the evening, we have to have have some vigilance. We have very strong winds. We have some potential lightning. We have a drought. We have low relative humidities. So very, very difficult weather ahead. And we're not over it yet. Thursday morning, another system kind of pushes in and just some light showers and sunshine. So tomorrow's going to feel a lot nicer after tonight. Now, Friday morning, everything looks great. I'm on a mission, a mission to catch a comet. So naturally, the first stop on my agenda is a brewery. Turns out what some people thought was woo-woo science had real world science to help back it up. Now this comet takes 6,800 years to circle around the sun, which means the last time anybody saw this, we hadn't even invented the wheel yet, and there was no such thing as recorded history. <laughs> For Central Oregon Daily News and Planet Earth, I'm meteorologist Scott Elness. Cancer took my grandma at age 75. It took her son, my dad, at age 77. So today I'm sitting down with the owner of Silver Moon Brewing to talk about fighting cancer. Like gentlemen, of course because discussing a beer whose proceeds go to cancer in Bend without the necessary accoutrement would be simply uncivilized. So here's to ending cancer. F cancer. Be best way to do it. So tell me what was the motivation?